A stroke happens when an area of the brain does not receive enough blood flow. Um, when with the blood comes oxygen and nutrients. So that area of the brain essentially starts starving and will eventually die unless that blood flow can be restored. If blood flow is not getting to a specific area, the more time that goes by, the more damage there is and therefore more disability. So acting fast is really important to get good outcomes from stroke treatment. In order to diminish that time from when you present to the hospital to the time that you receive treatment, towards that end, we also have advanced technology, including the possibility of doing CT angiograms and perfusion studies, which are, are very advanced imaging that look at the arteries and also what is the tissue of the brain that might be have been injured versus the tissue of the brain that we can also potentially salvage. We also have automated software that uses artificial intelligence that is able to uh, very quickly relay that information to all team members at the same time. The way this automated artificial intelligence software works, it allows for at least the most critical and important areas uh, or interpretations of the picture to be done really within minutes. We're able to receive the information from the artificial intelligence software on our cell phones, tablets as well. So we, it really goes everywhere we go. Uh, we also have the ability to assess the patients via telemedicine. We can do that from wherever we are. So being able to review the neuro pictures, the brain pictures, and also get the alerts, whether there is, for example, a large clot in an artery that requires surgery is, is very convenient and important for that patient's care. So this technology could save us around 10 to 15 minutes for a stroke, every minute counts. It has been estimated that every minute that passes, a person loses about 1.9 million neurons. We have been the first in South Florida to deploy this technology and it has made a tremendous impact on how we care for our stroke patients. At the Miami Neuroscience Institute, we're very eager to adopt any technology that will allow us to, to treat patients better, safer, and to get better outcomes. And that has been the case also with this advanced artificial intelligence software.